Hello, I'm Laura and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be creating some fabric bows for my journaling Bible. I've got lots of different fabrics here. It is autumn and Christmas is approaching in a few months. So that in the back of my mind while I'm doing this is thinking of autumn colors and Christmas type colors. So I've got the fabric here and you can see that I am cutting long strips out of it and all of my bows are going to vary. I do some experimentation with different widths of the fabric. They all are about the same length or the length that they need to be to be able to tie them into a bow, but I do experiment a lot with like a skinny bow or a thick bow, a big bow, a little bow. This is my first time ever doing this and so I really wanted to try out the different possibilities to see what I thought, to see what I liked and basically just uh, giving this a go. I love people's photos of their like Bible garden, I think is what they call it. And essentially it's like when you have your Bible closed, but you can see all of these fun bits poking out of the top and the sides. And a lot of that is pretty bows or paper clips or tags, fun elements that stick out of your Bible. So that is what I'm working on. Just creating these bows with the intention of being able to use them in my Bible. And actually, this first one I am creating here on camera is with the intent of giving it to my friend because the theme of this bow is coffee and I am not a coffee gal. I don't drink coffee at all, but my friend loves coffee, loves caffeine, always getting Starbucks and also does Bible journaling. So I created this bow with the intention to give to her. And I find myself doing that when I get into like a DIY project, <laughs> I'll often like go a little bit overboard. Like I don't want to just try it once or twice and make one for me. I go all out, especially with the Bible journaling stuff. I've done this with Bible bookmarks and now with Bible journaling bows, just all the fun stuff. Like I want to make some for me. I want to make some for my friends. Just share the love and share the excitement about Bible journaling, right? <laughs> So you can see I tied my bow with the fabric. I kept, you know, trying to tie it into a knot and until I got the perfect length to be able to get that bow, um, that's when I made my final cut off of the longer full piece of fabric. But I needed to make sure that I understood what kind of length I needed to make the bow first. So... I do that while it's still attached to the rest of the fabric. After I tie the bow, I decided that I wanted something that felt really secure. I felt like that was really important because these do stick out of the top or the side of the Bible. And it's very easy for that to brush up against things or accidentally get pulled or caught on something else. And so I wanted these to be solid. You know, I didn't want somebody to put that in their Bible, especially if I'm like giving it to a friend. I didn't want them to put it in their Bible and then like it get ruined or something. I wanted to make sure it was a good product for them. So I don't just open up my paper clip and twist it around the inside of the bow. I do that on some of them, but then I also reinforce that paper clip and bow together with thread and needle. So I just sew it together and I sew that paper clip to the actual bow. And I feel like that makes a really secure bond and definitely feels a lot more structured and a lot more stable than just feeding the paper clip through the middle of the bow knot. You see I'm moving right along here, trying out different fabrics now. I made a second one out of the coffee or caffeine fabric and it was a little bit smaller. I also changed the style of the bow a little bit. That bow had a smaller width 
And I also cut the tail ends of the bow at a diagonal. And I really liked how that looked. And then you can see here all of these pretty, pretty bows. I tried making some with some glitter tulle. I made some with cotton fabrics. I made some in different patterns and all these pretty, pretty things. I also tried to choose paper clips that I felt like really lended themselves to that particular bow. So I've got this white and red floral bow here and I added a white paper clip to that since that was part of the colors. And I also thought that would be great to be able to use for Christmas because it's red and white. And then I also used the gold bow on this warm autumnal fabric with a pink polka dot and also on the bee fabric that had a lot of yellow in it and I thought a big chunky gold paper clip would be perfect for that and this is how it looks and how it's coming together now I'm just going to package these up in a homemade package here that I am making because I am going to include these as stocking stuffers for two of my friends for Christmas I really love how these look. I think they are so sweet and charming and you can just see how pretty the package ends up looking at the end here. I think these make such a sweet gift. They're so easy to do. When I go to the store, I buy an eighth of a yard of fabric. It's such a small amount of fabric. Usually it costs me between like 30 and 60 cents for that much fabric. And I love it. It means I can get a variety of different fabrics and create these multi-packs and I think it looks so good to stick in somebody's stocking for a stocking stuffer if they are creative or like Bible journaling. Yeah, definitely a fun thing. I hope you've enjoyed this video and seeing how I make Bible journaling bows. I'm definitely not an expert at this, but I do think they're really charming and cute and I wanted to share. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if this is something you would try out. I think it makes such a sweet and easy gift to make for other people and a really sweet thing to do for your own Bible too if you like that little extra flair. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see all of my creative endeavors including Bible journaling, scrapbooking, and occasional DIY projects like this. Thank you so much, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!